Welcome again to Software Dev channel. Uh, in this tutorial, I will teach you how you can uh, install Oracle 12C database in your system using Docker Hub. So, before moving to the actual tutorial, I assume that you have installed <coughs> Docker Desktop in your system. And if you don't, if you haven't installed Docker in your system, so just go to the Docker website and here you will find the des desktop version for um, different operating systems and all of this documentation is pretty straightforward so you can um, just download it here for uh, Windows 10 I will go to the Windows 10 section here and you have to download for Windows if you're using Mac you can download this for Mac operating system. So after installation of Docker, <clears throat> the interface is really simple and it will be running here as a background process. And you, you can just see the images which you have downloaded in your system. So right now I have created my own container which I will create from scratch and uh, these are right now the images which which I have downloaded just to save time of this tutorial I have downloaded this um, image and I will show you from here you can download this so <clears throat> since our goal is to download Oracle um, 12c image so what I'm going to do here is you have to go to this link Oracle docker and it will show you these results and you can go to the second link the Oracle Database Enterprise Edition. For using uh, the images, you must be having the Docker account. I have created my own account here, and you have to sign up on on this web application and then sign in. And after that, when you will go to this link, you will be having this button: Proceed to Checkout. Click on this link. and then click on these sections get content okay and once you click on get content you will be presented with um, something like this okay and this is the complete documentation where it shows you how you can install Docker image and after that how you can con configure it in your system so I will walk you through what you have to do so first of all uh, I assume that you have PowerShell in your system click on the Windows PowerShell and let me just increase the font size here 20 yes 20 is I think enough so first of all you have to copy this link and after that you have to paste it over here but prior to that you have to write docker login as in the first step and when you click enter what happens is that it will authenticate your request with the existing credentials in your system and once it succeeds so it will let you um, display this thing so I have already downloaded this image because it's roughly three and a half GB and in order to save time I'm not going to download this again but you just have to copy this and just paste it here and hit enter and what is going to do it will take a time depending upon your internet connection and it will download that image for you all right so once the <coughs> image is downloaded in your system right then you have to start the database um, server instance right so since I have already created my container this line this part will basically create a container for you right let me just just copy this and um, write notepad another section so what is going to do it this part this will be the name of the the container which you will be creating and it will create a new container for you with the name of um, um, like whatever you name you give it here so I have already created here with um, 
a container something like Jamal Oracle but for the sake of this tutorial I will rename this part here and I will just say YouTube Oracle right and then I will copy this and then I will paste here So see, um, it has created a new container for me with the name of YouTube Oracle and it has assigned this unique ID to that container, right? After that, once my container is created, right, what I have to do here, I have to um, log in into that container using that command because I just want that I have access to the SQL plus through which I can run my um, database operations if I go here um, you will see that that my container is created and it's running here but there is one problem I forgot to give them two things one is the the path where where which will be used as persistent storage and the second is the port number because right now if you see I click here and click on inspect so none of the port is binded here and that's we should not be doing this right we should give tell them through which port we are going to connect with this container right because we we, we have we will be using the echo studio and for this we will be needing this port over here so what I'm gonna do I will delete this container and I'm, I'm just gonna uh, rewrite the, the command which I have wrote here with the port number and the virtual path or the path where the, the storage will be saved so you, your data is not, not lost right so I will delete this I will remove this okay perfect and then what what I'm gonna do I will just um, write I will um, after name and um, I will say the port is minus piece for the port and I just want it give me 1521 the port and the virtual path is <coughs> whatever part where you want to save this um, this storage right so you can give it any path right in the documents folder or anything but right now I will just um, copy this here and I'm not going to create any persistent storage because I don't need it this is just a tutorial but right now I just just need this board over here and I will copy this and I will paste this and then I will create a new container for um, for myself so now if you see here it is running here on the port 1521 right if I go to this container you can see it's running on 1521 and now we can connect with this database from the Equa studio right so once the all right let's get back to this now we have to log in into the this um, container using this command so I will uh, just hit enter and I will rename my um, Oracle DB with this and I will copy this and paste it over here right see now my database is up and running and um, now I have to run few commands so my database uh, have a new user and I can connect it from outside the Equa studio right so for this I will refer to this document which I have created and I will upload this document and it's really simple all you have to do is once you have access inside the container you have to use this command connect system as sysdba I will 
okay all right it's not working so connect sys as sys dba and the password is just the password now i'm connected now i have to alter this session and set it to true <coughs> alert session unknown command beginning or oh, or i have to say alter session set oracle script true session is altered and now i will create a new user with the name of something like youtube create user youtube identified by youtube so this is a new user with the youtube and the password is also youtube and i will grant all privileges to youtube um grant missing or all right maybe the spelling is wrong grant all privileges to youtube okay grant is succeeded now i can connect with this database and for this i will be needing um, any um, database management software but i'm using <coughs> echo studio Echo Studio is a paid software you can uh, use SQL Developer, but um, it gives you 14 days of evaluation period, so um, you have enough time to explore the features. I will click on Evaluate, and then in uh, I will create um, a new server, register a new server, and here click on Oracle 12C and after that the name is youtube login was youtube and the password is youtube connection type is basic the host is localhost and the service now this is where you will give the service through which this database like um, is connected so the service goes like this um, oracle cdb dot local domain copy this and paste it here right and then click on test connection and it is successfully connected to your database okay click on close and click on save so your youtube um, database is connected and here you can <clears throat> create new tables create new views and everything else right so hopefully this has um, pretty much cleared how you can um, download oracle 12c image and how to configure it and if you have any question please leave it in comment comment section and um, i will try to answer you there thank you